Hi, fellow traders. I hope everybody's doing great this week. I've got a very special presentation for you guys today. It was supposed to be a Rolling With Ed, an extended edition, but the video didn't record right Sunday. Didn't have any audio. It wouldn't load up right. And then I redid it today as I was coming back from moving my daughter out of her dorm. And it still is not operating with or connecting with Movie Maker. So I really need to get this presentation out there. I wanted to connect this to the end of the special that I've been running. Said it, I was gonna hold it up 24 hours after I dropped this video. Um, it was supposed to be down this weekend, but I'm gonna extend it 24 hours after this week, after this video drops. I'm gonna pull the special and I'll talk about that um, here in a minute but what I want to share with you guys is my take on the how long syndrome okay there are three very popular questions that we day trading educators mentors coaches that we get the most the most common questions that we get the most popular question that we get and you can probably guess what it is by reading this title, The How Long Syndrome. That's what I call it. It's a syndrome because it <clears throat> wreaks havoc on our industry, especially with new traders. So today, I'm going to go out on the limb and I'm going to answer these three questions. Now, just like all of, uh, you know, most of the other educators and mentors out there, when we get asked these questions, we tend to give a vague answer or just say it just depends on the trader and everything. But up until this year, when I up until I put together this roadmap to success, I didn't have a good answer. But I am confident in what I put together and what I've seen. I can give you some definitive answers to these questions. So what are the three questions? How long will it take me to learn to day trade? How long will it take for me to be a profitable day trader? And then a big one, you know, for all those who have this vision of uh, freedom and traveling the world and being able to do whatever they want to do when they want to do it, how long will it take for me to be able to make a living day trading? So I'm going to give you some definitive answers that I feel based on my professional opinion and you know what I have have um, experienced over the last couple of years. And I feel this is as close to the vest as as I can get it. Now, one of the things we have to realize is we live in an instant world. Now, we've been programmed to want and expect instant service, instant gratification, immediate, immediate success. You know, instant desires and expectations often mean big trouble, especially in day trading, because what it does is it creates unrealistic expectations. And we all know what unrealistic expectations can do to our mindset. And trading is a highly mental um, industry and profession so you know, we can't let things get to us that way so developing into a legit day trader it will take some time all right so you know what causes us to want to have everything right now and not to wait and not spend a whole lot of time doing one thing it's because time is a commodity you know, time can be saved, time can be spent, time can be invested, time can be wasted. But let's look at these four terms, saved, spent, invested, wasted. You know, what other commodity does that remind you of? You know, the first thing that comes to my mind is money. So in my mind, time is money. And that's what what we connect, we automatically connect time to money. 
And we feel that wasting time is just as bad as wasting money. And, and that concept is so deeply ingrained in our minds that it can affect our whole life. You know, take me, for instance. I'm one of the biggest violators of, of this rule. Um, my family will tell you, sometimes I drive them crazy. When we go out to eat, if, you know, I'm okay with waiting 15 to 20 minutes, but if somebody says a 30 or 40 minute wait, no, I'm not wasting my time waiting to pay somebody. You know, that's my mindset, but it's, it's not a healthy mindset, but that's just the way I have been brought up. You know, when we go to these theme parks, you know, I'm not going to pay $300 to get in. Well, the whole family is $1,200 to get in, stand in line two hours and 45 minutes, which is one-fourth of the time that I have in the park for that day just to ride one ride. You know, so it's worth the, the money to pay for the fast pass or the speedy pass or whatever they call it at that particular theme park. It's worth it to me so that I don't have to, to spend all of my time waiting in line. Because if I feel, I feel like if I'm waiting a, a quarter of my time to ride one ride, I'm wasting the money that I paid to get in the theme park. So, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that way. You know, and there are other things that happen to us in, in our life how many of you have been behind a car and the light turns green and before five seconds pass, you honk the horn at the guy to get him to move? You know, we're just in a hurry and we just get impatient and it's ingrained in all of us. So how do we deal with these effects of time as it relates to our trading and to so that we're not trying to rush and continue to try to find shortcuts and get us to you know, our goal quickly. You know, we have to establish a clear and realistic path to reaching our goals. And we have to put realistic time, st time stamps on it. If we don't, we'll have unrealistic expectations. If we don't reach it in a certain time, we're going to get mad. And then, you know, we may quit. We may end up going somewhere else and spending more money and realizing the same results or worse. And it's just a, a downward spiral from there. <clears throat> so I'm going to attach a realistic timestamp to how long will it take me to learn how to day trade? So to go from knowing nothing at all about day trading to being able to trade actually takes 60 hours you know and that's i break it down into one month of three hour days five days a week now i told you i don't know if, if you remember i shared with you my practice as i was coming up i would have you know three hours at night after everybody you know went down we had our family time we did our activities and then at night after everybody went down, that's when I would put in my three hours. And it was five days a week. So the weekend belonged to the family, pretty much what we do now. So the difference between how, how proficient you are at the end of these 60 hours, it's going to be, the, it's going to determine what educational program you're in. You know, your learning ability and then how focused your learning time is. So it, let's talk about the educational program. Now, there's a lot of day trading educators out there, a, a lot of us out there, and we all have different programs. We all focus on different things. My path is immersion. For me, as far as I'm concerned, the only way you learn is by doing. So you, you learn some basic fundamentals, but you get in and you do it and you practice. We'll talk a little bit about, you know, that 
you know, my program. We'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, here, here's an example. I hope, I think this will work. Let's say, okay, you got two friends. Okay, they, they're going on a trip to, um, let's say they're going on a trip to the Dominican Republic and they have to learn Spanish or they want to learn Spanish. They don't have to, but they're going, they want to be able to, you know, speak a little Spanish and they're going with this group of people. And one of the friends said, Hey, I had a friend, she went to Mexico and there's this person that worked with her to taught her some Spanish. And she was able to go down there, you know, and really, immerse herself in the culture and you know I, i'm looking at doing that and then the other guy's like well there's this i keep seeing these ads about this class that at the school and they're supposed to be able to teach you know they're just teaching spanish so it's okay you know so they go their separate ways and a couple of weeks later they run into each other at uh, Walmart and the you know the guy that went with the person that was recommended you know he had a whole different type of education his education was based on immersion the other guy's education was based on more formal curriculum where in the first three weeks all he did was learn how to conjugate verbs a little vocabulary um, tenses and subject verb agreement and all of that stuff. And the other guy went into immersion. So he sees his buddy, he goes up to him and says, you know, hola, come on, estas amigo. And his buddy that was taking the formal classes, you know, of course he knew, you know, hola, you know, muy bien, gracias. So that's great. He thought he was doing good. You know, so his, his the other buddy says, you know, como es tu clases de español? You know, man, cante el mío. So he's telling them, you know, how he's asking them, how are your classes? Mine are doing great. And his buddy's just looking at him like he's speaking a foreign language, which he is, but his buddy shouldn't know it. Now, he recognizes clases. He, recogni he recognizes español, but you know, como, but he can't put it together because he hasn't been immersed in it. And then his, his buddy goes on. He says, Estor listo para el viaje? You know, no puedo esperar. So he he's asking him, are you ready for the trip? He's like, I can't wait. And his buddy's just, he, he's lost. And this is the difference between the educational program where, you know, one program, it will probably be three months before he would even understand or be able to have a simple conversation like this. Now, that's not perfect Spanish, but it's Spanish that you could understand and you could, you know, immerse yourself in the culture with. And this is why the educational program is so important when it comes to trading. You know, you want one that's going to, you're going to be able to immerse yourself in. You know, another thing is how proficient you're going to be at the end of these 60 hours is your learning ability. You know, or how focused your learning time is. That's the key. How focused your learning time is going to be. Now, don't take this out of context that I said it's only going to take one month for you to learn how to trade. It's going to take 60 hours of focused learning time. 60 hours of focused learning time. Not 60 hours of sitting in front of a computer, watching the chart go up and down, or watching a video, or something like that. You have to actually immerse yourself into trading. So how are you going to focus your time? Now, how can we do that? We deconstruct the art of trading. So what I've done in my roadmap, my roadmap to success is 
I actually reverse engineered my path to profitability. And so I'm giving it to you step by step by step. And it's allowing you, if you're doing it the right way, to focus on the right things at the right time. You know, you look at the end result, which is to be a profitable day trader. And I broke down the steps that you're going to need to get there. And we're only focusing on the most important ones. The ones that actually matter. And the second step, which is equally important, is learn enough to self-correct. Okay, you get the resources that you need to help you build that foundation. You know, the learning process is that you get better through practice, recognizing your mistakes, and then correcting them. That's where this roadmap comes into play. Okay, it's through this step. Now, so far, what I've shared with you in the roadmap, if you have gone through everything that I've done, I've given you, you put in the 60 hours, you should be proficient at trading that one strategy. Okay, if you did it right. Now, if you sat there and start fussing about the trades not working, you're not making any money and all that, when I told you this, the, the exercise was not meant for you to make money, it was meant to teach you how to follow a plan, how to execute a plan without question. But you started questioning it and it doesn't work for you. You got to start all over. There again, you're deviating from the plan. Anytime you take a wrong turn and you have to turn around and come back, you're going to add time to the learning process. If you follow the path, as it's laid out and you don't try to jump here, jump there and do things. Once you get to the point where you're profitable, then you have enough knowledge to be able to, you know, change some things around, but it's very important. So going back to learning how to self learn enough to self correct. If you practice that one strategy, now you could have, said, no, I don't want to do the opening range. You know, maybe you come in the market a little bit later. And so you're going to do the, um, you're going to have to do the trend continuation. But either way, you spend a month or you spend um, 30 trades just trading that strategy. That's all you're doing. And you're following a simple trade plan. You're not deviating from it. And anytime you make a mistake, that exercise is simple enough that will allow you to self-correct. Now, if you have trouble self-correcting, that's where the mentoring hours came in that I was offering. Because anytime you got to a snag, you can use that mentoring time to help you get over that hump. And everybody's going to get snags at different places. But the main thing is knowing how to self-correct. Remember, we're learning by immersion. We're not, you know, learning all of this stuff that we don't need to know, all of these terms that we don't need to know, because that doesn't help us learn how to trade. That only confuses us if we're not at that point yet. All right. So like I said, this special is going away 24 hours after this, this uh, video drops. So I take advantage of it. It's priceless. You know, I put a price tag on it, but it is priceless. All right. So the third step to maximizing the efficiency of your time or maximizing your time is you have to remove any barriers that you have to your practice time. The, you know, some of you may not have three hours a day. You may only have an hour a day. So that's why you focus on the 60 hours versus trying to focus on the month. It doesn't matter. The learning part, you've got to put in that the hours and they have to be focused. 
Now, the reason why I'm able to do this is because my experience as a teacher in having a set curriculum and only having students for X amount of time, I know what I can teach and how long it takes you to get it and how, how long it takes you to practice before you are able to be um, proficient at it. And so that's how I came up with those those 60 hours. And that's why I'm saying put in at least 60 hours of focused practice time. Now, day trading does have this frustration barrier where we feel incompetent sometimes. It's like we just can't get out of our own way. And this is actually a barrier to us learning. So having this set time and knowing that we need 60 hours, this is going to help you get over that initial frustration. It's going to give you enough time to work through it. And knowing that, hey, if you deviate, you're going to need to add another couple hours onto it. You know, if you decide that you're not going to follow the plan and you're going to do something different because you heard <clears throat> this person on YouTube say do this, then you're going to add 60 hours to my time. I mean, you're going to add some more time to the 60 hours that I'm giving you. you know, so you have to stay on the path because it's going to give you all the tools and everything that you need but you got to stick with it. You know, you got to get your reward for the pain that you go through initially. If you quit, that reward's going to go to somebody else. And all of the hard work and money and that you put into it is going to go in somebody else's pocket. And you don't want that. All right, so the next question. How long will it take me to be profitable day trading? <clears throat> with the right education, guidance, and process to learning, you should be able to be profitable in three to six months. Now, I'm not talking about making a living. You're a long ways away from that. I'm talking about where you're not red every week. You're making a couple dollars a week, and you're going to be growing from that. Now, you may only be making 30 or $40 a week, $50 a week. But just three weeks ago, you know, or just three months ago, you were losing two or three to five hundred dollars a week. So tell me you're not making progress. You may not be making the money that you want right now, but you're making progress. So in three to six months, you should be making more money than you're losing. And I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying you should be making $500 a week. You may not be making that. Some are. Some are going to be more proficient than you. But you should not be losing more money than you're making. Because all of your skill set should be home. You should be really focused and dialed in on whatever strategy you're learning and you're trading. Now, I say focus on one strategy at a time. When you try to learn too many at one time, you're not going anywhere. You know, I've got six strategies that I trade. Three are mechanical. Those are the ones that I'm teaching you first. And, you know, a lot of guys who can't even trade the simple mechanical strategies, they want to learn my subjective strategies because they make more money. They're going to make more money, but they're going to incur more risk. And if you can't trade the simple mechanical strategies, you're not going to be able to trade the subjective strategies any better. So, you know, that's why I try to hold back as much as I can, because I don't want until you get to that point. I don't want to try. You should. OK, so by now. You should have your daily routine down. You know, this is part of what we work on in the roadmap series. We'll be working on your daily routine. You know, once you know how to trade and you understand what you need, that strategy, then we're going to build a routine around it. Um, you should be proficient in your strategy. Well, very proficient in your strategy. Your risk management techniques should be on point. 
You shouldn't have to worry about um, your risk management. But here's the key. You're not able to sustain a career in trading yet. You still got a lot of learning to do. You have progressed so much to where you're not losing that $500 a week. You're making a hundred, a couple hundred dollars a week and you're growing. But here's the thing. If you deviate, if you start going here, there, you start listening to this person and that person and thinking that you can circumvent this part of the process, you're going to be adding more time than that three to six months. That three to six months is going to turn in to eight to 12 months, then 12 to 24 months. So you keep, you know, you keep running around before you know it, you're going to be out of the game. Just know, even when you get to this point, you still have a lot of learning to do. And so I, I tell you, my roadmap, it's a sure path to get you from here, from where you start, um, to profitability. That's what it's designed to do. And then once you get to profitability, that's when you really start to grow into your, your own. And you start to become your own trader and you start to you start really making money okay you always have that foundation to fall back on but you know you're gonna you're gonna be growing into your own now the big question how long will it take me to be to make a living day trading here's where it's different for everybody it's based on your account size it's based on your experience level in running a business. That's why I start you guys developing a business plan because you need to understand that this trading is the business. And if you want to make money at it and you want to make a living at it, eventually you need to start learning how to run it as a business right now. Because once you get to where you want to be profitable, the last thing you want to do is sit here trying to figure out these business things because that's going to mess you up with your trading. You know, also how long it takes is going to be how dedicated or willing you are to make the changes that you need to get there. And you're going to have to make changes in your lifestyle, in your mindset in order to make a living day trader. There's no way around it. Now, don't even think for one minute that you're going to make a living trading out of Sure Trader or CME Group or uh, TradeNet or TradeZero. Any of these guys that cater to small accounts, those brokers are specifically designed to help you start with what you have, start where you are with what you have. But their goal is to grow out of that. You cannot stay in there and make a living. I don't make a living out of trading my small account. I don't. There's, there's no way I can make a living doing that. I trade out of it every day so you can see what it takes to grow it. I'm growing it every day, every week, every month. That's what we're doing. Uh, we take hits just like everybody else. In the market, things are not going to go your way. You're going to make mistakes. Um, I'm more apt to making mistakes because of I'm running the community. You know, I'm talking, I'm answering questions. I'm not a hundred percent locked in on the trades. Not all the time, you know, and that's just part of it. I had to accept that and understand that, Hey, that's even better because you guys get to see how I deal with mistakes. But don't think for a second that you can make a living doing that. You're going to have to grow out of it. You're going to have to get a legit um, broker and then work from there. So until you get to that point, don't even think about wanting to make a living as a day trader. Now, as soon as you're able to develop and run your trading as a business, that means you're going to keep most of the money that you make. 
And if you're able to do that, then you, you'll be well on your way to making a living as a day trader. Now, there was, and I think I forgot to tell you this story. Um, there was this well-renowned author. I can't remember his name. But he wrote a book, and he was talking about that it takes 10,000 hours for someone to be an expert at learning a new you know, professional skill. And what happened was these guys took his 10,000 hours out of context and started repeating it in their publications that it takes 10,000 hours to learn a new skill. It does not take 10,000 hours to learn a new skill. It doesn't. It only takes 60 hours and to learn trading. There are other skills where it may only take 20 or 30 hours. But the point is the 10,000 hours comes in when you're trying to become you make a living day trading. So 10,000 hours works out to about, what, 1,250 days, if I'm not mistaken. And that's about three, three and a half years. And that's about right. I would say, don't expect to be able to make a living, actual make a living where you don't have to worry about a job or anything like that you want to put you want it's going to take you about three and a half years to get there you know now obviously some can do it quicker it depends on how focused you are you know how how where you start what account size you started with um how experience how how well your experience level develops and running a business as you're going through this time you know and again how dedicated or willing you are to make changes that you're gonna have to make in order to keep most of the money that you make in trade a lot of people when they start making a little bit of money they start spending it they don't put it up they don't use it to reinvest back into their trading business they just start spending it and that is not going to get you where you want to be. So here's the answer to this question is a little bit more vague. But I'm going to say it's going to take about three and a half years. If you follow the plan, if you develop as you should, if you don't stray, you know, and start chasing the golden, the, the goose that loaded the goose that everybody said lays the golden egg. If you start chasing that, you can start adding more time onto it. So how many traders do you think are going to stick with it for three and a half years? So that's why you've got to do these things in, in steps. We had to break it down into steps that you can accomplish along the way. We're not going to stop and look at the three and a half years. We're going to look at these are the steps that we have to make. But once you start being profitable and you start growing your account, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with that time factor. Believe me, it gets a lot easier because you're actually and you're clearly seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, and that's another reason why I like to be live and in color in front of you so you could actually see that this does work. It doesn't matter if you take one, two, three, five losses in a row. At the end of the month, you're going to put money in the bank. And that's the name of the game. So I hope you, I hope this, um, helps you guys understand where I'm coming from and where I came up with the numbers that I came up with. 
because you know me. You know, you guys can go back and read my, my blog back from the very beginning. You know, you can follow my progress from there than, on, than here on YouTube and how I continually grow, grew. And, you know, once I realized I, I needed to not spend that money, that I needed to reinvest it into what I'm doing so that I can get to where I want to be because, you know, that was my goal. And you see, it took me, I started in 2014. I went trading full time June of 2016. That's when I started trading full time. That's when I left my job. And my number one business was, was my day trading business. So it took me two and a half years. It didn't take me three and a half. It took me two and a half. But I had a plan. Um, I, the market worked out. We, we, we had a really nice market in 2015 that helped a lot. But I had a process. You know, I had good people guiding me. Um, had a really good mentor and ended up meeting someone that was even better that had been in the industry for 30 years that, you know, really told me that I needed to eliminate all of the BS. And, you know, that's where this roadmap came from. You know, that path, once I learned it, and that's what helped me get to where I am. Now you can accelerate the learning curve, you know, by eliminating mistakes, learning from experience, learning from somebody who's been there. That's how you accelerate the learning curve, not taking shortcuts and not following somebody that hasn't been through the fire that you're going through. You know, so, you know, that's all I can tell you. So I hope you guys get a lot out of this. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email, ed at averagejoetrader.com. I do answer them, answer emails several times a day. And you can best believe if you email me, you're going to get me answering. So you don't have to worry. I'm, I'm a one-man band. So you don't have to worry about anybody else answering my emails for me. So I'm always here. I'm just a, a email away. So you guys uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. And we will get back at it on tomorrow.